All right, I'm going to do an unboxing here. This comes from China. Yeah. Body Chan. And what you get is our two uh, maquettes that are poseable. I don't know how these are going to work. I've gotten stuff like this before, and they seldom work very well. But they were very inexpensive, and let's take a look at it. There's going to be a man and a woman. And all I got is the woman. Oh, well. So, first off, their advertising, I thought, indicated you got both a man and a woman, but I probably just misread it. As many of you know, I've been having problems with my eyes lately, and it could be just that. This one actually seems like it might be pretty good. But anyway, it's called the uh, Body Chan DX set. And uh, you can look it up on uh, Google. I, got, I think I got it on through uh, Amazon. I'm not sure. It came from China. <laughs> it, it, it took forever to get here. Probably about a month or more. But anyway, uh, let me put this box aside. It measures uh, just about five inches tall. It's posable, which is really kind of cool. And you can you you got all the uh, hand joints and things like that. That that hand just fell off. You come with. Uh, let me show you. This is the part that goes into the back of the figure. And there's a hole in the base here. And you stick it down in there. And I guess it will hold itself up a little bit. That's good. But it's, uh, it's movable. It's uh, omnidirectional. And that's kind of nice. That you can change the angle. And uh, you, uh, sorry, I'm putting my hammy hands in the, in the way. But you can tilt it uh, sideways and forward and back. Turn it around and you don't have to put it on the base. You can put it on anything you want. If you've got a rock or something like that that uh, you want to pose the uh, figure on. You can do... Oh, oh, you know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing wrong. This clear plastic part there holds the figure. Okay. And because it, I think that's what it does. Seems like it does. Oh, there it, it okay, you clamp it. That's what you do, okay. I'm sorry, I'm, if, maybe if I read instructions once in a while, it would help. <laughs> but you can uh, pose the figure any way you want to, if you want it flying through the air with the greatest of ease like the flying, young flying lady on the tra trapeze, whatever. It actually holds its positions pretty damn good. I'm gonna come back around. Right. Now my background wants to move on me. Actually, this is a pretty damn good little maquette. If you're gonna, you know, pose something and you wanna have her angled like that, and then you want to balance out her leg like that. And you want to angle her body kind of like that. Ah. This is only because it's the first time I'm using it, so you'll have to excuse my uncoordinated thing. And... Uh, I'm not going to put the sword in his hand, but in her hand, but uh, it gives you kind of a clue as to 
what you can do with this thing. And see, this way you can see the angle of the body in a particular pose from just about every angle that you want to uh, maybe draw it from or sculpt it. This helps you uh, set up your armature. I kind of like this. I'm going to use this, I think. The uh, lady that I'm working on now is standing. Let's see. Up. Pose her differently. You know, that's kind of a faint attempt to make it pose uh, the way I've got it on her. And, uh, this arm doesn't go up as, well, it goes almost as high as her arm on the, on the clay figure. And, uh, of course, she'll be holding on to a robe right there. So, actually, I can pose that. Uh, and see, the neat thing about it is these little feet, these little feet have uh, multi little joints that you can actually pose the foot uh, in almost a natural way. This, this is actually, I gotta give this a plus because I, I the last maquette I had was worthless as could be. And uh, this one is actually really well designed for the size. How they do that is unreal. But anyway, uh, that just shows you how you can pose it and and then you got uh, the pose from every angle. This leg would actually be a little straighter, but I'm not going to sit here and play with it. You'd, you'd probably have to play with it for a little while to get it to to work out exactly the way you want it. But uh, it is really kind of cool. And see, that's the leg the, the weight would be on, and that's the leg that the late weight would be off. And so you can get the hips to tilt, you get the back uh, and the uh, torso to kind of, you can back it up a little bit, like that. Let's see, I'm going to turn this bo board around. You see how I got it? Yeah, that looks pretty damn good. So can I recommend this? Absolutely. And, uh, like I said, it's uh, Body Chan. And, uh, let me get this out of the way here so you can see the box a little bit better. It's uh, Body Chan, and, uh, I'd say it's definitely worth the money. I mean, I think it was really cheap. I, mean, I don't think it was even 20 bucks for the figure, but I could be wrong. My memory's not that good anymore. But like I said, you got all these hands that you can use, and you got hands that uh, you can uh, mount a sword in. It's got uh, different uh, uh, poses for the hands in here with different hands. And it's got another support system. So you can, you know, like maybe put this in. I don't know how that works. I really need to look at the instructions. It would probably really be helpful. I think what happens is you put this around the where I've got it there. And then if you angle her, this will keep her at that angle. I don't know. Anyway. All right, that's going to be it for that review of those, uh, that maquette. I'm going to order uh, the male one. I, I think that's dynamite. And then you can pose two figures together, which I think is, is would be really helpful. Um, I got to make a run to the lumber yard. Uh, I got my magnetic uh, bars for my tools, and I'm going to have to build some kind of support so that the uh, tools can be near my sculpting stand. So, let's go for a trip to the lumberyard. Oop. Help. <laughs>
put it in reverse. <laughs> Yesterday I uh, went to uh, the store and got stuck. It was a complete whiteout yesterday. Uh, it overcast skies and, and the white snow, no no uh, dark areas at all. You couldn't see the edge of the road. You couldn't see anything. And uh, I went right into a ditch and got stuck right at the dollar store. But they uh, both helped me get out and uh, the one guy chained me up. I think his name was Chad, but I can't remember. Anyway. God bless them. Boy, I tell you, that was a cold day yesterday. And miserable. One thing that's growing in this valley right now are mountains of snow. <laughs> Alright, I'm picking up, a, I hope, a magnetic bar for my tools here at the post office. Well, I sent... Uh, a set of my DVDs to Australia and I picked up a magnetic knife bar that was dropped on that I got yesterday and uh, I got two I bought two of these uh, magnetic knife bars because I figured I could put my steel wire tools and any other steel tools I can hang them from the uh, magnetic bars and uh, it'll make you know keep the things off my cutting board where I roll my clay and uh, they're always getting in the way and this way uh, I can grab my tools easily and uh, it's just going to be more convenient I gotta stop at the clinic first and have uh, I need some more cream for my hand the affected skin area and I gotta see if they can fill out the prescription or if they don't so go to the clinic isn't that a pretty sight right there absolutely beautiful Ennis was uh, settled in the 1860s by a gentleman who supplied food and supplies for the miners up at uh, the gold strike up in Virginia City which is 14 miles over the mountain here actually over the hills all right be right back Now the lumber yard. Here where my studio used to be about uh, two years ago.
belt in the damn lumber yard. <laughs> There's no cross traffic. Can't remember which bay he said. Bay tree. inch wide, one inch thick, 12 foot long. And I'll give you a measure. Well, thank you, sir. No problem, bud. We'll pop it back and I'll... Uh, we just, oh, you can just slide it through, I think. You think it'll fit? Oh, that's that's going to be long, isn't it? Yes, that's yeah, what I was going to ask if yeah. you would open it up. I don't want to do no damage. Thank you. Take care, have a good weekend. You too. I plan to relax. <laughs> now I'll put my seatbelt on. Oh, God, that's done. <sighs> Hands are a little frozen. Guess it helps put it in gear. I think or maybe an hour and a half and now the clouds have come in th that quickly that's how quick uh, the uh, weather can change in Montana of course I think it can do that anywhere but uh, there's the clear sky over there over the north uh, eastern part of the sky and over the mountains but it's moved away from here and that's why I said we're getting snow tonight I'm sure of it Just glad I got everything done today.